Hi there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Inside Look, your video sneak peek into the newest edition of the world's favorite freshwater aquarium magazine. I'm Alex Rose, communications and digital media editor over at Amazonas, and today I'm going to be taking you inside the pages of our May-June magazine, a stellar new edition focused on stargazers. So let's dive right in and have a look at the articles coming up in this neat new issue. As you can see from the cover, you've got some super interesting stories about Astroblepis catfishes to look forward to in these pages. As usual, we open with our letter from the editor and Courtney introduces us to the waterfall climbing tendencies of these amazing stargazers, as well as some legislative threats to our hobby, which we detail more in the next story. So in this one, we tackle the specifics of the Lacey Act amendments in the America Competes Act and break down what this proposed legislation would mean for the pet industry if it were to be voted into law. I can't stress enough how critical it is that we all pay close attention right now and do everything possible to make sure that this does not pass. You shall not pass! I'm not a wizard, but Amazonas will keep reporting on this story and giving updates on ways to stay engaged. But for now, please contact your legislators and district representatives support organizations that advocate on behalf of aquarists and animal welfare, and encourage your friends and favorite vendors to do the same. I've included some hopefully useful links in the description below. Now, moving on to something less worrisome, we've got a nice little write-up celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Greater City Aquarium Society of New York. Our first cover story is all about the climbing catfishes of the genus Astroblepis, a name that directly translates to stargazer. Not only do they have very remote distributions, but they also have challenging ecological requirements. The next cover story examines the conservation status of Astroblepis in the wild and explains how habitat destruction, environmental pollution, and competition with invasive species endanger these unique fishes. Another fascinating article discusses climbing as an adaptation to extreme habitats with a focus on Astroblepis, Cordylancestris, and Bofordia. Then we diverge from the catfish content and bring you a low maintenance killifish from Colombia, a bright orange rivulet that's extremely simple to keep. Next, we have an article about how to keep and breed convict type cichlids in the genus Amatitlania. Then we have a piece that covers an important initiative to rescue Profundulus Oaxaca, an extremely rare and endangered killi from Oaxaca in southwestern Mexico. We've also got a gorgeous spread that features the incredible winning tanks from the Biotope Aquarium Contest, and maybe it'll inspire you to consider entering it yourself. Next, we have a write-up about the care and keeping of Batis pallidus, a rare and beautiful batid from Bangladesh. Following that, we have a really informative piece about a very recognizable fish with a century-long aquarium career, the iconic Harlequin Rasbora. Then, from the field, we have an article that takes us to the tropical island of Sulawesi, one of the biodiversity hotspots of our planet, to learn more about Arisius eversi, the Evers' rice fish. We then have another installment of Keeping the Cast, our ongoing coverage of the cartoon series Weird Waters, where we have a look at the care requirements of the animated Dragon Blood Cichlid Boom Boom Cheezer. Then there's our calendar, a listing of upcoming aquarium events. A complete listing can be found on our website under the events tab. Then we've got sources, our listing of local aquarium stores in the US, Great Britain and Sweden, where you can buy Amazonas right off the shelf. We're then treated to three species snapshots, a tetra, a killifish, and a cardinal fish. Finally, we finish off the magazines with a look at the incredible Amazon leaf fish, an ambush predator with impressive camouflage. Well, that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive inside look at the current issue of Amazonas. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most importantly, subscribe to the magazine. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.